Boston Classic. Before I can get the words Hans Schmidt out of my mouth, he's into action. I wasn't going to tell you who it was. I was going to let you guess, and I'm sure the first guess would have been the one that would have been all you would have needed. But for the record, that's Hans Schmidt, the German terror. On the right, on his knees, Vern Gagne, who took a left hand to the pit of the stomach. Before the bell, is now just getting out of his diamond-studded belt and jacket and is starting off uh, under a handicap. Hans Schmidt and Vern Gagne. Gagne ranked among the top two or three wrestlers in the business today. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hans Schmidt. A terrible two town from Germany. And they say that Schmidt is a wild man, and I guess they're right. Joe Moscato, the referee. I've got a second right in front of me. I don't know. I don't think he knows where, quite where to go. Flying mare, a knee to the throat. This Schmidt is rated as incorrigible, and you can understand why. Gagne out of the ring. Schmidt threatening Moscato, Moscato threatening Schmidt. This Schmidt, during his turbulent career, has sent no fewer than 40 opponents into hospitals to recover from just about as many types of serious injuries. Several national magazines have rated this guy as public enemy number one in sports. Protests have flooded commission officers and commission officers in every state at which he has appeared, in which he has appeared, asking that he be barred from further participation in sports. And Vern Gagne, his opponent tonight, is getting the full Schmidt treatment. And Vern hasn't had a chance to get into the ring long enough to take the offensive at all. This ESPN Classic program is brought to you by Red Zone from Old Spice. Intense protection for intense people. Going for 12 rounds is all about stamina. That's why I like high endurance from Old Spice. No deodorant protects better. And it lasts longer because it evaporates more slowly. Want proof? If you're not convinced, Old Spice will buy you a stick of your old stuff. <laughs> Let me put it this way. High endurance lasts longer than I do. I'm working on that. There's a secret society where the night is eternal. The music is essential and the party is non-stop. You could be the newest member. The MGD Music Jet Tour. Four parties, four cities. One unforgettable trip. Peel the label, enter the code at mgd.com, and prepare for takeoff.
You got ice, right? Ice. Sure, tricks really beat up your engine, but Pennzoil with Pure Base is formulated to protect against the harshness of everyday driving. We can't change the way you have to drive, but we can protect you from it. What kind of stakes did you get? That got to hurt. Stop and go. Protection from Pennzoil. Buy a case of Pennzoil at participating Napa stores and get a free year membership to the Bass Angler Sportsman Society. With a Mind Lab metal detector, you never know what you'll find. Uh, there's always a few odd rings and bits of jewelry coming out. We've got old coins and medallions back into the 1800s. They call it a hobby, but it's more of a lifestyle, and you'll love the lifestyle. It's a great lifestyle. It's healthy, it's good exercise, and it's more fun than fishing. Call 866-DIG-DEEP now. It's free. Call 866-DIG-DEEP. Call now. You can have great fun. And a crowd of some, well, 8,000 people here is going slightly wild at the annex of Mr. Schmidt. After one tumultuous night in Chicago, they tell me some 5,000 letters of protest because that bout two was televised, were received, and all of them requested that Schmidt be thrown out for life. He was offered free psychiatric examination in a kindly undertaker. I don't know if it was Digger or Odell, or of an imburial without charge. They could find somebody mean and strong enough to do them in. And also received 30 lectures or offers to set him on the straight and narrow from some 30 ministers. But he is incorrigible. And look at him dish it out. Hans Schmidt. He's arrogant, he's mean, he's miserable. He's big, he's strong, he has plenty of ability. He's got everything going for him. And he also had Gagne's shoulder going for him. Look at this. Block. And Mr. Gagne has turned the table, and the crowd loves it. And Marty Moscato's merry men, Marty Moscato's fine private police, are in action tonight. They had to be. And right above my microphone, Mr. Schmidt and Mr. Gagne, and Hans Schmidt is standing right beside me. And I'd like him to move away. My nerves have been shattered sufficiently tonight as it is. And all I need is a dirty look from Schmidt and I'm going to be right under that ring. Gagne isn't about to let Schmidt back in. Gagne threatened to haul off on Joe Moscato. And you can understand his frustration now. One of the greatest in the business, Vern Gagne, against the meanest man alive. Man, I'll be all right. The meanest man alive, Hans Schmidt. Gagne, a former Olympic champion, National AAU. Former All-America from the University of Minnesota. Played along such men as Leo Namalini. Leo the Lion, a great wrestler in his own right and a star for the San Francisco 49ers. Clay Tonemaker played with him. Also, Bud Grant and Gordy Salto, the place kicker par excellence of the National Football League with the 49ers. A lot of speed, Gagne, a lot of ability, and a lot of strength that belies the comparatively pay, uh, frail looking physique. He wants to unload on Hans Schmidt. 
And for the life of me, I'll never understand why they wait. Well, he didn't wait too long. Rope strangled by Schmidt. And we've got a public hanging here for free. Moscato orders a break. Schmidt does, but only momentarily. Now he breaks for good. And Gagne is groggy. This crowd is in a real uproar, and they have been in a real uproar all evening long. Stay tuned as Hans Schmidt and Vern Gagne get down and dirty. Don't go away. I, I couldn't pay my bills. It was ruining my life. I couldn't answer my own phone because of the bill collectors. Between student loans and my credit cards, I could barely make minimums. I knew there had to be a way out. If you have debt problems, then call Profina Debt Solutions, the nation's largest, most experienced credit counseling service. Profina doesn't make loans. Instead, we work with over 50,000 creditors nationwide to lower your monthly payments. If you gather your bills and call one of Profina's credit counselors, within about 20 minutes, over the phone, we can help you avoid bankruptcy and get the collection calls to stop. You don't have to own a home to qualify. Profina's nonprofit and totally confidential. I was on the verge of bankruptcy. Soon I'll be debt free. They save me over $250 a month. I just make one payment to Profina and they take care of the rest. Thank you, Profina. I have my life back. There is help. Call Profina Debt Solutions. It's not a loan, it's a way out of debt. This weekend, Saturday on ESPN2, the IRL heads to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Atlanta 500 Classic. On Sunday, the NHRA scorches the pavement at the Mac Tools Thunder Valley Nationals. Later on ESPN, it's Sunday Night Baseball as Chipper Jones and the Braves meet Luis Gonzalez and the Diamondbacks. And on ESPN Classic, The Hustler. Let's play some pool. Do you have all the ESPN networks? Nowhere but nowhere do you find better wrestling, more thrilling, provocative wrestling with greater names than in Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo. They trade drop kicks. Gagne with a knee to the throat, climbs aboard. Moscato counts, and then Gagne is flipped off. Smith weighs 240. At least he lifts the 240, but most people think he goes about 265 or 270. Tremendous physical shape. The lone wolf, the Smith. One of the few wrestlers that I know who is as unfriendly outside the ring as he is inside it. Even the Miller brothers. Unless you happen to rile them up, of course, are sometimes, not always, but sometimes pleasant. This Schmidt never is. And in the ring, well, words cannot adequately do him justice. Schmidt. Finishing hold is a backbreaker. And if he gets a chance to apply it, he literally aims to break his opponent's back. Test of strength. And Gagne had to lose it, of course. Much smaller of the two is Vern Gagne. Old signals on that. Gagne to his feet once again. And Schmidt had the equalizer and knee. You saw it. The slam. They'll go one fall, 30 minutes if they go all the way. Now 
arm lock and roll. One of Gagne's favorites. Well, he trumped with those size 11s on Mr. Hans Schmidt's very tender ears. The crowd loves it. Hans Schmidt has all the earmarks of a beautiful headache. A thing like this only enrages the madman. And in all probability, Vern Gagne will pay a heavy penalty. And if you feel it in your toes, then you won't stop. And if it's deep in your soul, then you can't stop. And if you know what I know, then you won't stop. We're going way up, way up, way up, way up. Sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, 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 buy, 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 sell. Aw, heck, just rent. Call Avis at 1-800-331-1212, and you can get a car for just $25 a day on weekends when you ask for the just rent rate. In an economy that's not trying very hard, Avis is trying harder. Call 1-800-331-1212 now or reserve online. I've always loved working on computers, and in the Army, that's what I do. If you never thought about the U.S. Army or Army Reserve, think about this. There are 212 ways for you to become a soldier and work in a job you'll love. Call 1-800-959-ARMY for this free video to find out which job is right for you and discover the 212 ways you can be an Army of One. I love what I do. Saturday, May 5th, live on pay-per-view. The adrenaline's at full tilt for the climax of the best Supercross season in history. The EA Sports Supercross Finals, live from Las Vegas, Saturday, May 5th. Contact your local cable or satellite provider. Kanye is winding up. And Schmidt breaks it off. And this, look at that Schmidt. He's got brutality written all over. Boom. A leg Nelson. And Mr. Schmidt has hung up pretty good. Now, Gagne's got to be careful that Schmidt doesn't shoulder stand him into a pinfall. Kanye had the answer. Schmidt is outside the lower strand. Joe Moscato is going to have to break it up. And if you think he's kidding with those boots, look at that. Moscato and Schmidt. Schmidt is tough, but not that tough. And he walked right into it. Oh, boy. Over and out. Gagne applying that famous revolving arm twist. And Schmidt knew one way to break it. That was head for the tall timbers. He did. Boy, this ring has taken a tremendous beating tonight. I hope it can go the distance. Bruiser Athletes, of course, tried to splinter the ring steps into kindling wood and succeeded. Hans Schmidt was trying to tear it apart with his bare hands a moment ago. 
And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he was able to do it too. Oh boy. That is a blow to the ego. That's going to really frost Mr. Schmidt. Real lovable character. Coming up next, Vern Gagne tries to wrap things up against Hans Schmidt. Any full-size SUV can tackle the wilderness. Coping with the urban jungle also matters to engineer Thad Stump. For the Yukon XL, his team completely re-engineered the suspension and tightened the turning radius to make the Yukon XL surprisingly agile. Thad knows that while SUVs have gotten bigger, parking spaces have not. Okay, so you're set up with Total Choice Programming, and sir, I also hooked up the NFL Sunday ticket subscription you signed up for. Ah, uh, that's for her. Oh. So you've also got Fox Sports Net. You get your regional sports. College basketball. ESPN Full Court. What about racing? Horses. Stock cars. <laughs> or fry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now get free professional installation when you buy a DirecTV system, and sign up for any DirecTV programming package. Deck and patio owners, if you love summer and outdoor living, but hate struggling with sudden showers and the scorching midday sun, I want to show you how to enjoy your outdoors even more with this big Sunsetter catalog and video. Yours, absolutely free, just for calling this toll-free number. You'll discover how the easy-to-use Sunsetter can help you enjoy your deck or patio more, rain or shine. In fact, it's like adding a whole extra outdoor room to your home. The easy-to-use Sunsetter is simple to operate, opening almost effortlessly in less than 30 seconds to create an instant outdoor shelter when sudden showers strike and a comfortable shaded retreat on those hot, sunny days. In fact, with Sunsetter, you'll stay up to 30 degrees cooler even on the hottest summer days. Plus, our easy-to-add accessories turn Sunsetter into a complete outdoor living room perfect for insect-free enjoyment and entertaining all day and right into those balmy summer nights all for thousands less than adding a costly addition to your home plus we'll even take you inside to show you why our remarkable seven layer awning fabric is so incredibly durable and completely waterproof and because we manufacture sunsetter ourselves and sell direct to you we're able to offer incredible factory direct prices that save you hundreds of dollars so stop struggling with the weather. Start enjoying your deck or patio more than ever before with the easy to use and affordable Sunsetter retractable awning. Call for your free video and catalog today. Call toll free 1-800-701-5200 to receive your free video and catalog on the Sunsetter retractable awning, including details on a special savings offer on now, plus our 90-day no-risk home trial. Call now 1-800-701-5200. That's 1-800-701-5200. What they thought of Hans Schmidt, I doubt you'd get one printable answer. Watch out. Pull them off and into a headlock. That's the first legitimate hold that Schmidt has applied all evening. Now, I'm not so sure how legitimate this is. Gagne reaching. Gatto said, did you use the hair? Schmidt said, no, I don't know what Joe expected him to answer. Gagne reverses. Now they're trading holes. Head scissors by Gagne. Got Schmidt in the horse collar. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Schmidt trying to snap out of it, but he's too thoroughly entrenched.
Gagne with the flat of his hand to Mr. Schmidt's whiskers. Smith's ears will ring for a week. And he'll have a headache for two. Referees hold. And it's nice to see that bit of legitimacy. Let's see how long it lasts. No break. Gagne trying to reverse out of the headlock. Can't do it. Slides out. Off the ropes. Here we go. Times Square and 42nd Street. Traffic jam and the inevitable crack up. And we got a couple of gone goslings out there in the center of the ring. Now it's question who's going to get up first. Schmidt is beginning to come to. Gagne is not. Yes, he is. He's beginning to stir a little bit. Schmidt rolls him over, climbs aboard. Joe Moscato, two. Gagne heaves him off. Just in time. The Vern Gagne Fan Club, which is conventioning here in Buffalo, along with the fan clubs of some 150 other wrestlers, is very relieved that their hero, that its hero, was able to save off what looked to be a sure pinfall. That Gagne was never noted as a punter in college, but he's booting the daylights out of Hans Schmidt. Gagne aboard. And he's throwing off. Right hand of the breadbasket. Elbow smash. Boy, look at that Schmidt. The slam. Backbreaker by Schmidt. Once again, two. Schmidt couldn't hold him. Gagne survived the backbreaker, and he's one of the few. Can he survive it again? Head scissors by Gagne. Flying head scissors. And that saved it off again. And there they separate the men from the boys in the wrestling game. Fellow like Gagne in the throes of one of the most effective finishing holds of them all, the Hans Schmidt backbreaker. Had enough presence of mind and endurance remaining that when he was lifted for the finisher, wrapped his legs around Schmidt and turned the backbreaker into a flying head scissors to his advantage. That's why Gagne is one of the most popular and highest paid stars in wrestling today. gave it the power of 227 horses. We gave it the control of all-wheel drive. But the spirit of a three-time World Rally Champion, that it had to earn. Meet the turbocharged rally-bred Subaru WRX. That's the beauty of Subaru all-wheel drive. Mushroom Jack fajitas with grilled chicken, melted jack cheese, and smoky bacon. Look! Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Ellie's renting again. And Enterprise picked her up again. She said Enterprise picks her up free. Free? Free. Now that makes renting easy. Mm -hmm. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Is it 5 16 or 9 30 seconds? Does it take a standard socket or metric? What you need is the Gator Grip, the amazing socket that works on over 1,000 nuts, bolts, and fasteners. Watch, no matter what size fastener, nut, bolt, wing nut, square nut, eye bolt, hook, most anything, 
Gator Grip holds on tight to finish the job quickly and easily. Now hang a plant, work under the hood, fix a motorcycle, even set up a Christmas tree stand. Gator Grip replaces a complete toolbox and fits in your pocket, motorcycle, on your belt, or bike. The secret are these retractable steel rods that form to fit most any size or shape. Then locked in place, just turn and tighten. Look, this man is using a regular socket set. He has to change with every bolt. But this man is using the Gator Grip. There's no fumbling, no searching, no changing. He's done. Gator Grip is strong enough to handle up to 150 foot-pounds of torque. So breaking free a rusted nut is no problem. It can remove recessed, odd-shaped, even damaged and stripped nuts and bolts. Amazing. Ow, that's a pain in your hands. But with the Gator Grip, it's a breeze. Why spend hundreds on all these tools? All you need is the Gator Grip that fits over 1,000 nuts, bolts, and fasteners for only $19.95. But it gets better. You'll also receive this high-speed adapter that connects Gator Grip to your power drills and drivers. Drive in metal bolts with ease. Quickly install protective shutters or put together a bicycle super fast. Yours free. Call right now and we'll include this heavy-duty ratcheting handle. Keep one in the kitchen drawer for repairing a sink or turning a broken water spigot. Together, it's all you need. Yours free. Gator Grip comes with a lifetime replacement warranty. If it ever breaks or fails, we'll replace it free for life. Call 1-800-452-3399 to order your Gator Grip for just $19.95 or send check or money order to this address. This incredible offer won't last long, so call 1-800-452-3399. Gagne a little upset at referee Joe Moscato. I hope he does not get so upset that he hauls off. Because that could cost him a disqualification. Oh, boy. Both men. Flying boxer stamps or forms of them. Gagne a little more according to Marcus Kingsbury. And Hans Schmidt's left knee is bearing the brunt. Up and down. There's the bell. Gagne doesn't want to quit. They've gone all the way. I don't think they heard it. Moscato did. He's telling Gagne it's all over. It's all over. And Hans Schmidt will probably have to be carried out. No, he's going to make it up. There is Hans Schmidt in action. Into the turnbuckle. Here comes ring announcer Manny Weitz, and we'll have the official verdict in a moment. Vern Gagne is out of the ring, out of the ring on the far side. Boy, oh boy, he took it. And he is a graggy man. Schmidt really rammed him. Schmidt. Here comes Gagne back in. We may have trouble here. Here comes Gagne. Boom. And out goes Mr. Schmidt. And nobody made a move in defense of Hans Schmidt. Here comes Schmidt back in. Out the other side. How do you like them apples? Schmidt has got a weapon of some sort. Vern Gagne waiting for him. Now the police are over there, and Hans Schmidt is leaving the ring before the verdict is announced. Before we get a decision, the police have asked Mr. Schmidt to leave. And it's probably a good thing that fast and prompt action on the part of the efficient private police here may have prevented a dandy of a riot. Gagne, one vote, one draw, a draw. All right, it's split, but it's a split draw decision. Vern Gagne got a vote, 
Two officials voted a draw, so that's it officially. Hans Schmidt, Vern Gagne, third it to a draw. Stay tuned as boxing great Rocky Marciano keeps Fritz Von Erich in line against whipper Billy Watson. Attention, people without dental insurance. Now you too can save money whenever you visit the dentist with the People's Dental Plan. This discount plan saves you from 20 to 50% or more on virtually all dental procedures guaranteed. You'll save on cleanings, root canals, braces, fillings, x-rays, crowns, dentures, and so much more at almost 20,000 locations nationwide. There are no claim forms to fill out. Just show your card for on-the-spot savings whenever you go to the dentist. This affordable plan costs less than $10 a month and covers your whole family, so it could more than pay for itself your very first visit. There are no limits on use or on how much you can save. So even if you don't have dental insurance, you can still get big savings at the dentist from 20 to 50 percent or more on virtually all dental procedures guaranteed. Get the People's Dental Plan today. Call 1-800-652-9922 for free information on the People's Dental Plan. There's no risk or obligation. That's 1-800-652-9922. The Emmy and Peabody award-winning sports century, the top 50 and beyond, has done it again. A second Emmy win for the series Critics Call. Arguably the most comprehensive sports documentaries ever pieced together. You know what made them heroes. I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. We show you what made them human. He drank, he chased girls. You'll only see the award-winning sports century on ESPN Classic. Every weeknight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Layden, your commentator, bringing you wrestling from Buffalo War Memorial Auditorium. The courtesy of the Buffalo Wrestling Club with Pedro Martinez, your popular promoter, has gone all out tonight and is providing wrestling fans with a great thrill. For here we have in the ring tonight, officiating for the first time here, the great undefeated heavyweight boxing champion of the world, now retired Rocky Marciano. And there he... We have Rocky Marciano examining both men for Greece and checking their attire. We have him inspecting Whipper Billy Watson of Toronto, Canada, one of the very few men that has defeated the mighty Lou Fez and held the world's heavyweight wrestling crown uh, for a period of about six months. He is wrestling tonight the mighty German Fritz von Erich, who at this moment is asking many questions and making accusations against Watson. But I'm afraid with Marciano as the official tonight, he had better be on a little of his better behavior if that is possible. He is trying to tell Marciano that everybody's against him around these parts. But of course, he hasn't done anything at all to make people actually love him. Watson looks extremely well, but at this moment is taking a punishment from Fritz von Erich, who is bearing in, using all that mighty weight of his, weighs in the vicinity of 270 pounds, and sinking that fist firmly into Watson's face. There's Rocky Marciano throwing him up, letting him know that he is not going to tolerate any of this, any of the breaking of rules and ignoring his control. The crowd would very much love to see Marciano take a more active role against Fritz Bonnerick, but tonight that is left up to Whipper Billy Watson, and as I said, Watson looks well, looks trim. At the moment, he has to find, he has to find the counter to this vicious attack by Fritz von Erich, who has Watson in the corner, is powering away with those fists. But once again, the German shows disgust at the attitude of Rocky Marciano. As he tells the German to break, to stand back and obey the rules. I can see him I can see him taking a very early trip to the dressing room if he maintains this attitude. 
with a Billy Watson, present holder of the British Empire heavyweight wrestling crown, ex heavyweight wrestling champion of the world. At this moment, has big Fritz von Erich pinned in the corner, but Erich displaying a great strength associated with his size. And there's Watson delivering a forearm jolt right into the midriff of Eric. And Eric's out here right close to my back. And here's the... There's a catch in with his hands by Fritz von Erich, who, who an old... You go back in the ring. You've got no right to be out here. We get back in. As a catch in with his hands by Fritz von Erich, who due to a little bad blood in the past, seems to take exception to me being near the ring. But I'll leave it to Wiffle Watson to get in there and put him in his place. Unfortunately, the man had me at a disadvantage then, but I, I'm sure that he is going to get his share before the night is over. At the moment, we find him outside, running around the ring, taking the sanctuary of being outside the ring to gain extra time. Coming up next, you won't want to miss Whipper Billy Watson. Just ask Fritz von Erich. Uh, operator, I'd like to make a collect call, please. First name, Bob. Last name is... We Otto Baby Eats a Boy. Hello? Collect call for Mr. Bob. We Otto Baby Eats a Boy. Sorry, wrong number. Who's that, dear? Bob. They had a baby. It's a boy. Oh. Don't cheat the phone company. Save money the legal way. Call GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. the ropes. Crowd very happy. There's an enormous crowd here tonight. Enormous crowd attending Buffalo War Memorial Auditorium tonight to see this contest between Fritz von Erich of Germany and Ripper Billy Watson of Toronto, Canada. Watson, one of the most popular champions to ever enter the wrestling ring. Watson has a wide variety of holes. At the moment, using a side headlock on Fritz von Erich. And an attempted drop kick by Fritz von Erich on Whipper Billy Watson failed. And we see Watson following up. Head spinning. Fritz von Erich, much to the delight of the crowd. But once again, Erich takes advantage of the ropes and comes outside the ring so he can get that very precious count before entering. Watson over anxious, winning Marty Marciano as the crowd count with Marciano. But as Marciano says to Watson, he said, I can't count him if you don't stand back. Fortunately, fans, we have Martin Moscato's police around the ringside here just to make sure that everything is kept under strict control. And he does, he does just that. You'll find that Martin Moscato, he does a fine job around the ringside here at Buffalo War Memorial Auditorium. And his men, they, they have things well in hand. It was just, it's just the fact that Fritz von Erich keeps antagonizing the people with the method in which he stays outside that keeps Moscato's men on the move. Uh, 
five days from Germany. I've never seen a wrestling match. I've just been told we have a very good fan here five days from Germany that hasn't seen a wrestling match. But I'm afraid she might not be at all happy with the manner in which Fritz von Erich is acquitting himself here tonight. As we find Hooker Watson delivering those powerful forearm jokes to Fritz von Erich's jaw and has von Erich in trouble now. There he is, Erich, straddling the ropes. Marciano finding it tough here tonight handling these men. A little bit different to what Rocky's usually accustomed to. And he's doing his utmost to break them. Both men feel they have a score to settle. There's one, Eric. He's looking for trouble. That's Rocky Marciano. Cuts that left hand of his and threatens Fritz Von Erich. And he's gone outside now to threaten him. He's gone outside to threaten Fritz Von Erich, who refuses to listen. And I'm sure at this moment that Rocky Marciano wishes it was old times again and that he had this man, he had this man in the ring in a different capacity. I'm being threatened once again here by Fritz Von Erich, who seems quite anxious to take the house on tonight. Stay tuned as Rocky Marciano looks to add Fritz von Erich to his long list of knockouts. A Whopper says, flame broiled beef without fries and a Coke? Scary. Add golden fries and an ice cold Coke for just 99 cents whenever you buy a Whopper. You happy now? Uh-huh. In the land of burgers, the flame broiled Whopper is king. With full-time all-wheel drive, the new Subaru WRX stays glued to the road. the turbocharged 227 horsepower boxer engine, you'll swear you're flying. That's the beauty of Subaru all-wheel drive. Are you tired of cleaning over and over again only to have the same old stains come right back? Then don't clean your kitchen or bathroom. Zap it! Presenting Zap 2000, the professional strength restorer used by contractors for over seven years. Zap 2000 is as easy as one, two, three. Just pour it on, let it sit, and wipe it off. And in minutes, your surfaces are back like new. Zap 2000 is a restorer, not a cleaner. Ordinary cleaners only work on surface dirt. But Zap 2000 actually penetrates stains to restore surfaces to their original new shine. You pour it out. You leave it set. There's no rubbing. There's no scrubbing. You go back a couple of minutes later, and you just wipe it up, and it's all done. This shower head is clogged with hard water and mineral deposits. But look, after just one application with Zap 2000, it's restored like new. And watch as Zap 2000 goes to work on this old garden shovel. Years of rust just melt away. Zap 2000 with its fresh wintergreen scent works on porcelain, chrome, fiberglass, toilet bowls, rust, even hard water stains. In fact, Zap 2000 is so effective, it's guaranteed to remove any stain from any of these surfaces or your money back. It restored my grout to bright white. It cleaned my tile, the bathroom surfaces. It lifted that soap scum off, cleaned the hard water stains, the rust, and the smell is fantastic. Zap 2000 is so concentrated, just one bottle replaces over $50 worth of ordinary cleaners. Call now and receive Zap 2000 Restorer plus Zap 2000 Easy Spray Cleaner and two industrial Zap pads, all for only $19.95. But wait, call in the next five minutes and we'll double your order for free. That's right, four bottles of Zap 2000 for only $19.95. Operators are standing by, so call the toll free number or send check or money order to Zap 2000, Box 2220, Agora Hills, California. 91376. Remember, call in the next five minutes to receive two free bottles of Zap 2000. Order now.
fellow's a brutal type. I've never seen him smile. I don't think it's possible for him to smile. He wears a constant scowl. And I'm anxious, I'm anxious to see just how long this scowl lasts here tonight. Because there's one man that can wipe it completely from his face, is Whipper Billy Watson, who has handled all types in the past. And I'm, I'm only hoping that he also, I don't want to sound biased here, fans, but I'm hoping he can find a solution to this, this type. Hello. There goes Fitzwan Eric, and he's, he's, he's moving around here. He's moving around Marciano. He, he's, he's threatening Marciano. And Marciano moves in and throws a right hand at Fitzwan Eric, and, and Eric can't understand it. He's used to getting his own way in deals like this. Oh, oh. Here we have him out here again, fans, right at my side. I just missed the big legs that time as they came over here. Take him in the ring. Put him back in the ring. Put him back in. Fortunately, fortunately, Martin Moscato has got the mother in hand here, though, fans. The man once again is threatening, and I see his old partner, Big Gene Kaniski, up here, trying to lend a helping hand, only he's trying to help Fritz von Erich. He's trying to help Fritz von Erich. But we have, I see, good work there. Please to see Martin is right on hand. Yes, Martin Moscato's men. Very good help to me here also. Now we find Fitz von Erich back in the ring, but helped him by Watson and thrown out just as far. And he's caught outside by Big Gene Kaniski. Gene Kaniski is anxious to get in. I see Watson is threatening both of them from the ring. Well, what a wild and woolly contest this is tonight. Fans, we didn't anticipate anything like this at the Buffalo War Memorial tonight. We knew it would be rough, but it, this is really rough. And there is Kaniski now advising Fritz von Erich on the action he should take when he returns to the ring. The crowd here are going wild over it. Huge crowd, the vicinity of 8,000 people, enjoying every moment of this free for all, and that's all you can call it. Kaniski is challenging everybody on the outside, and I'm afraid that any advice that he can give Fritz von Erich will not be good advice. Marciano is warning Kaniski, and rightly so. And while he is, here we have this Fritz von Erich tearing away at Watson here in a very vicious manner. There he's tearing away with a big smile on, on Kaniski's face as he watches his old, his old uh, pal in there. And once again, we find Fritz von Erich missing badly. Yeah. And with a mighty Beal, Watson sends him across the ring and feels him again. And he has now applied the famous sleeper, Watson's commando unconscious. That famous sleeper hole of Whipper Billy Watson's applied, but unfortunately, Fritz von Erich is on the ropes. Kaniski shouting encouragement again from the outside. As Rocky Marciano now pushing Watson back trying to get stricter control of this contest. Marciano's counting. He wants the big German back on his feet. And once again, Watson has applied the famous commando unconscious, the great sleeper hole, but with the powerful, the powerful von Erich finding sanctuary in the loop. Take your time, shouts Kaniski. But Watson follows up, he follows up with this sleeper. He's doing his best to but Ron Eric is on the ropes again. Watson's doing his best to subdue this big German, and at the moment, Fritz Von Eric is in a bad way. He's groggy, he's very groggy, wrestling fans. A little treatment from this sleeper, and a man is not too well. And now Watson has the whole family applied. Watson has the whole family applied, but Kaniski comes into the ring and breaks it up. 
first big G Kaniski came into the ring and broke it up. And there's, and there's Watson tearing the coat off Kaniski. There's Watson ripping that coat to pieces off Kaniski. And there's Martin Moscato in there with his men. And they're trying to subdue Kaniski. But Kaniski's gone crazy. And both Kaniski and Eric are attacking Watson. And Martin's men are in there. Martin Moscato has his men all trying to push Kaniski out. And they're all grabbing him. There's taken about six men to subdue Kaniski. And Kaniski has lost his shirt, his coat, everything. Everything's ripped off him. Kaniski really took a bad batting then at the hands of all those that tried to subdue him. But he, he was crazy. And so was his partner. There's his, his, old, his old partner's crazy. Especially in fans, there's quite a melee going on here. There's quite a melee going on here as everybody's trying to get order. The fans have gone crazy. They, they're finding it hard to restore order here. But Watson has crowned the winner. Rocky Marciano has crowned Ripper Billy Watson, the winner of this contest, by disqualifying, disqualifying Fritz von Erich. Rocky Marciano has disqualified Fritz von Erich and has declared Ripper Billy Watson, ex heavyweight champion of the world, present British Empire wrestling champion, the winner. And Watson takes hold of Kaniski, and takes hold of Fritz von Erich by a part of Kaniski's coat and holds him, him into the corner. Him he holds him into the corner. Yes, Rocky Marciano, Rocky Marciano there, took command, disqualified Fritz von Erich in 70 minutes and 11 seconds. And is now raising Watson's hand, Watson the winner, in the wildest contest that I have ever witnessed, and certainly probably one of the wildest wrestling contests that has been witnessed at the Buffalo War Memorial Auditorium. Marciano sending Fritz von Erich to his, to his dressing room. Rocky Marciano probably had one of the roughest times of his ring career here tonight in restoring order in a contest that got well out of hand for a brief period. And then, then we find Big Gene Kaniski doing his best to aid his, his old associate, but fail miserably. And so, wrestling fans, Rocky Marciano crowns with Billy Watson of Toronto, Canada, winner over the big German wrestler, Fritz Von Erich.